is uh, another exercise video. This one is a pranayama technique. Um, this is a healing technique that I'm going to give you today. I'll probably try to give more healing techniques later. I want to give out at least one. I'm not a big fan of pranayama. And this is the one technique I do use pranayama in. Pranayama is simply um, focus on breathing. And most meditation teachers I run into are real big on pranayama, especially, especially these days. And even some of the astral projection people have been teaching pranayama, which is kind of a surprise to me. My prejudice against it is uh, from a path that taught out-of-body projections as their main goal. And they, they de-emphasize pranayama because it kind of attaches you to your body, at least that's the thinking. Yeah, you're focusing on body consciousness with your breathing, so it's kind of strange that you'd want to use that to leave the body. But um, I've seen a couple of YouTubers actually using pranayama in their astral projection techniques. So whatever works for you, works for you. You know, don't l don't let me give you a hang up against pranayama for those purposes if that's your purpose for using it. Anyway, my first use for pranayama is in a healing meditation. And I'm going to give you this in steps. The first step is simply to get into a relaxed state and do a basic meditation. If You can use a, uh, a mantra along with this as well or not. It's up to you. But, um, you know, you can start focusing on your breathing, but just nice, easy, slow breathing and relaxation. Once you're a little bit relaxed, normally that's when you start feeling your pains anyway. You start feeling your itches and your pains and all that. And instead of trying to ignore them, I want you to open up to these. Um, acknowledge your pains. Acknowledge your discomforts. And then the next step, three, is to release your reactions to those pains. When, especially when you have a persistent pain, you'll notice that your, uh, your body's reacting to it in certain ways. You're clenching, you're, uh, you're suppressing it, you're you know, maybe you're clinching down on certain muscles to reduce the strain somewhere else. Um, but realize all those reactions that you're having. Notice them. Bring them to the forefront. And don't suppress the pain. Let it let it come up. You know, feel it all. Don't suppress any of it. Just let it all come to the foreground. All right. Now with your pana brown. Yama breathing do a big inhale and start thinking about light when you're inhaling you're breathing in bright clean white energy bright clean white air let it fill your lungs breathe nice and slow and then um, hold it for just an instant and then let it go slowly as well but when you're letting it go, think about dark energy. Think about exhaling all this dirt, all this black and brown and uh, misformed energy out of yourself. All the uh, all the male energy, just exhale it. And all the uh, pro good energy, inhale it with that white light. So you're inhaling the good, you're exhaling the evil, to put it in a simple simplification exhale all the malformed energy and what I do is I I visualize sending it to the core of the earth I visualize sending all that energy down to where it maybe it can do some good even if down to the core of the earth where things are unformed and uh, unshaped but there's other uh, visualizations you can use instead of that you can uh, you know there's the old, uh, like, put, you know, coupling open a snowball and throwing it in a river and watching it dissolve. Um, there's a million visualizations like that you can use an alternative to mine. But for the, for, my, for me, for this uh, meditation, I inhale that white. I exhale that dark stuff, and I, I just visualize it going to the core of the earth, where it won't hurt anybody else. And maybe it'll send some formative energy to the unformed. And like I said, you can combine this with a mantra, ideally a two-syllable mantra that you can use in your inhale and exhale. 
simple letters are good for this sometimes. H-U or B-U is even better. B-U sort of has an energy to it. Just letter B and then U. But try it. Try your own variations.